uh, today we are going to learn about what are web collect and how we can use that web collect and what is the purpose of using web collect okay so web collect are the forms which can be used on a website which will be used to subscribe or unsubscribe from the publication list so let's say you have a website you want your customers to reach to the web reach the website and then let's say subscribe to a specific publication list or unsubscribe from those publication list okay so we're going to create a form and we will use that form and that form will be used by the customers to subscribe and unsubscribe from the list and if a customer subscribe you can use the data from the list to send the emails to those subscribers okay let's go ahead here is an article on the web collect okay in the article you can see here is an art, another article where you can from where you can collect the code sample which will be used to create web collect on the website okay you can just download the sample from here okay, i have already downloaded that okay once you download the sample the uh, zip file will be downloaded on your system once you will extract the zip file you will have this six text documents which will have the code which will be needed to create web collect forms okay so let's say uh, every text document has a different type of code this document has code which will using which you can create a web form using which subscriber can subscribe to a specific list okay let's go ahead and use the code that we just copied okay here is a web collect file okay i am on the server and here is the web collect.php file on my server i just go paste the data that i collected from the document okay on the top we have the javascript which will be used by the form okay you can just uh, leave it as it is okay here is the form that we have okay start from here form action in action you can see there is a url of the exact target you need to specify the list id here i'm going to go into the exact target okay here is the test list that i have in my account i'm going to copy the list id from the property section okay i'll go here okay i'll define the list id here so here you need to define in the next step you need to define the thank you page so once subscriber will hit submit where should he be reach okay so we need to define a thank you page i have already created a thank you page here is the url of my thank you page let me just copy this Okay, so I have all, I already have this thank you page created. You can visit the page and check. Okay, thank you. You have been unsubscribed. Okay, looks good. I have defined the thank you page URL. Now I need to define the error URL. So if there is an error while submitting the form, where should the subscriber reach? Okay, let's just define Google.com here. Okay. Okay, so when customer unsubscribe where should he reach let's just uh, remove it for now because we are going to use this form this test form just for the subscribe purpose okay on now we need to define your mid here my account mid one triple zero one four six four six you can find your account id from marketing cloud account you can export it here okay Okay, now I have already have the form ready okay as I'm not going to use this form for the unsubscribe purpose I'm gonna just remove this column okay let's see how our form looks okay here we have the form subscriber will reach here he will define his name his company name his email address do he need to receive emails in HTML format or the text or the text format okay when he will submit the form he will get added to this test list that we have in a marketing cloud account okay 
so if you want you can have few more attributes let's say you need to collect a uh, birthday of the subscribers okay i have the sport column in here i need to collect the sport of the subscriber let's say or the birthday or the sport okay i'll just add one more column here where we will collect the his preferred sport as well okay let's do it okay k r e dot f e r e okay one thing we need to keep in mind okay when we provide the name in the name here name when we fill the name attribute here the name should be exactly should ex exactly match match to the name to the attribute name that we have here okay it's sport as capital okay what is Okay, it looks good okay. so only email address is required in that list so email address should be there all other attributes are nullable actually let's just refresh the form again okay now we have the preferred sport here as well okay let's just do a test okay aman batra demo test a at salesforce.com Okay, uh, company name. Let's define company name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here we should we need to provide just name. Test. Okay. Okay. My preferred sport is let's say basketball. Okay. I need to. I want to receive text emails. I need to subscribe. Okay. I'll just hit the submit button. If it submit successfully, I should reach. To the to the success or the thank you page that we defined in the web collect form okay i have reached to the thank, thank you page that means i have been uh, subscribed to the list okay let's go here into the list and see if we see our email address in there okay i'll go into the list okay uh, as you can see my email address is available here now let's see if we have our preferred sport okay we also have that here the sport is basketball okay and the add method is web collect because we used the web collect code to insert the, the data into this list okay now you can use this list to send the email to this subscriber weekly or monthly okay uh, that's it for now if you have any questions please post them into comments okay there's one more thing that i can tell you uh there can be multi, uh, so there are multiple ways you can send an email you can collect data from subscribers okay you have first one is a smart capture you can have you can build a smart capture form into a cloud page in marketing cloud studio but if you do not have the senders authentication package configured you will not be able to use your personalized url there okay when we go here you, sh you you will have to use the exact target urls on the smart capture form okay so uh, web collect are way better than using smart capture forms have more functionality have more freedom even if you do not have those uh, senders at the authentication package configured you can use your personal personalized url just like the way i used if you own a server or a domain other than that, you can also use marketing cloud APIs, be it SOAP or REST APIs to collect data from customers and then send emails to them via triggered send. Okay. I will be covering those APIs. The other method I will be covering in next session. Okay. That's it for now. If you have any comments, please post them in. Sorry. If you have any questions, please post them in comments. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.